This is City News Daily on City TV. I am Pearl Akanya Ofori. Our top stories. Bank of Ghana denies knowledge of supposed takeover of ADB Bank by Unibank. And chairman of the Ghana 60 Years On Committee attributes failure to carry out all its planned activities to a lack of funds. Now let's give you the details of our stories now and the Bank of Ghana has stated that it has not approved a supposed takeover of ADB by Unibank. The announcement follows reports in the media stating that Unibank had taken over ADB after four shareholders of ADB, namely Bellstar Capital, Star Mount Development Company, EDC and SIC Financial Services Limited, pledged their shares proceeds, entitlement, and even voting rights to Unibank. According to the governor of the central bank, that's Dr. Ernest Anderson, his outfit is yet to consider any such decision. Meanwhile, the Ghana Stock Exchange has suspended trading in the shares of ADB effective today, March 7. The move, according to managers of the Bears, is to allow the Ghana Stock Exchange clarify the news of Unibank taking over ADB. Investment banker, that's Mahama Idrisu, is of the view that the move is aimed at getting ADB to meet the new minimum capital set by the central bank. The two banks are actually looking at maybe a major. For a takeover means that you are bringing a larger percentage to be able to take over and change everything that the pledge probably have been looking at. But in this case, we haven't heard of a major and we haven't heard of a takeover. You're watching City News Daily on City TV. Now let's bring you the story. And Chairman of the Ghana 60 Years On Committee, Ken Amankwa, has told City News Daily that the committee was unable to achieve many of its ambitious programs slated to mark the nation's 60th anniversary due to insufficient funds. President Ikufuado last year charged the committee to generate its 20 million Ghana CD budget from Corporate Ghana for its numerous activities, which included building 60 libraries in deprived areas across all 10 regions in the country. Now, explaining the situation to City News Daily, Ken Amankwa revealed that the committee was a victim of its own success. We couldn't live on it. It was a proposal which was brought by West Blue Consortium. The company unfortunately folded up and this work was taken over by another company which came in, wasn't interested in the proposal that West Blue had made. That was the end of the fixed library. The proposals were brought by people we called uh, consultants and uh, we asked them to bring budgets. The budgets, as usual, were humongous. And looking at our collection, we didn't think that we could use this. Today, Ghana's president, Nana Ekufuado, met with some members of 14 Togolese opposition political parties at the seat of government over their demand for limited presidential terms in Togo. The meeting was to report on progress made so far in the ongoing dialogue aimed at restoring peace in neighboring Togo. Well, today's meeting comes on the back of a similar one held in Togo last month, where the president met representatives of the Togolese government in Togo. Now, in his opening remarks at the meeting, President Ekufuad reiterated his commitment to resolve the crisis in Togo. Before we go, over six communities in and around Asena and Huyaso in the central region have been left to depend on just one chips compound. The facility, which is a rented one-room structure, is manned by just two health nurses. For some years, the community has defaulted in making a monthly payment of 60 Ghana cities to the landlord. Our central regional correspondent, Joseph Akon Mensa, visited the makeshift structure and reports that pregnant women are scanned in the full glare of other patients as there are no private rooms for such services. Joseph also reports that a standard chips compound, which began in 2013, has currently been abandoned. It's a shed made up of dry palm fronts and then some bamboo and wood. And I'm told that under this shed is where weighing is done. This is where they do education on kosher core and other things. And I'm told that 
it's embarrassing for some of the uh, per, uh, mothers or the parents that bring their children here and even some patients because they feel they feel embarrassed sitting in the open and then people listening and looking at whatever they tell the nurses here at Asin Anyasu in the Asin North district of the central region. That's it for City News Daily on City TV. I am Pearl Akanyo for a visit cityfmonline.com for more stories. Thanks for your time. Second image international admissions in progress. Courses available include hairdressing, beauty therapy and fashion. Call us 1243 331 999. Evening and weekend classes are also available.